Our consumer alert tonight is not about pest control, but household dust control. Trouble is, you can't really control it. And John Blackstone reports that's a big problem because of what's probably in it. After her daughter Ruby was born, Katrina Friedman made a startling discovery. The dust in her house contained trace amounts of a potentially dangerous chemical compound. PBDE is their polybrominated ethanol ethers. <laughs> Katrina learned Ruby's exposure to PBDE was near the level that animal studies suggest can disrupt brain development in children and possibly contribute to cancer. What am I going to do? How do I keep my child safe from this stuff? It's insidious. It's absolutely everywhere. Everywhere indeed. Researchers are discovering the dust in just about everyone's home is tainted with PBDEs. You know the adage of home sweet home. <laughs> Kim Hooper of California's Department of Toxic Substances Control says the production of PBDE, a fire retardant, has doubled in the last decade. So to make this fire safe, you add a lot of chemicals. Each year, some 75 million pounds of PBDEs are used to add fire resistance to everything from TV sets to toasters to computers. The fire-resistant foam in most furniture is loaded with PBDEs. Trouble is, the chemical doesn't stay inside. Scientists have now discovered PBDE escapes into the air, attaching to dust particles. It loves to be on dust. It seems hard for me to believe that something that's in the case of a computer is going to get into my body. We felt the same way, <laughs> but the mass spectrometer doesn't lie. To measure human exposure to PBDE, researchers asked a group of new mothers, including Katrina Friedman, to collect samples of their breast milk. You kind of think of breast milk as this sacred thing. It's mother's milk. You know, it's the, supposed to be the most pure thing in the world. But when Arthur Holden studied the samples, he found levels of PBDE he calls shocking even though at this time no direct link has been made to health problems in humans. They're man-made chemicals that should not be in our bodies. The federal EPA ought to act on this, and probably they will eventually, but they're always a little too late, I think. Most frustrating, perhaps, consumers can do little to avoid PBDEs. There are no labels to show the products they're in, and no way to tell how much dust in your house is contaminated. John Blackstone, CBS News, San Francisco.